guys, I'm Christy Teff, and I'm sitting here with Delaney Arnold to talk about a great artist that goes by the name of Margaret Burke White. That's right, Christy. Margaret Burke White was an amazing photographer and did many different photographs that reflected ideas such as America. She also had a very successful life. She studied at Columbia University and ended up in Cleveland, Ohio, and started her own commercial photography studio where she also did architecture and industrial photography. Wow, well how about this? She was also the first female journalist at Life Magazine, and she would take pictures from a helicopter like she did in her photo, The Statue of Liberty. Wow, that's so cool. Yep. What really drew me into this photograph was the view and the contrast of light and dark. Also, if you look really closely, you can see people leaning out of the top of the crown, smiling and waving. Once I saw this photograph, I was jealous of those people at the top, looking out. I've always wanted to visit New York and look out into the bay. Well, besides that, it looks to me as if the Statue of Liberty is carrying the Americans and enlightening them to look out and behold the beauties of the bay in New York. I feel like I'm empowered by this photo. It's almost as if she's raising her torch in victory. If you look into the background, you can see the buildings that look like factories. Yes, I can see that. I feel like this picture is saying that America is more than just a place of industry, but America is power and freedom. I feel that White was just an amazing woman to be able to take an object and show a different perspective than what we normally can't see. Yep, I agree. But also, she definitely had to be fearless for what she had accomplished with history and her perspectives on life and the world and America today. But you know, Christy, I certainly hope that no one falls out of that crown. Well, that would definitely be something to witness. Very tragic indeed. Here's another one of her famous photographs. It's called At the Time of the Louisville Flood. By the way, Christy, this photo took place during the De Great Depression in 1937. This photo obviously shows some discrimination. Look in the background. You have a billboard of, white, of a white family. Not just any white family, but the perfect family. Or more like what they think the perfect family should be. One with a new car, a dog, and apparently too happy for comfort. This billboard is trying to make known to all that this is the American way. Well, think about it. Civil rights movement hasn't happened yet, and blacks were still trying to gain their rights. But not only that, during the Great Depression, all people were going through a tough time, starting with the stock market crash of 1929. This photo is taken after the Ohio River flood that set back nearly 70% of Louisville citizens that were uprooted from their home. To me, Delaney, it looks like Margaret is looking in on the African-American's life. These distressed people standing in front of such a cheerful sign. It is almost ironic that these African-Americans just lost their homes, and the sign behind them is telling them they have to live the American way, and yet they can't. It's a very depressing photo, but what I noticed was that it's almost as if the car and the billboard is running over the African-Americans destroying whatever chance they may have in the American dream. And yet, the African Americans can't do anything about it. All they can do is just stand there and let their hopes and dreams be run over. Delaney, that's really true. What I also got from this is that the billboard seems like it is taunting them. Here they are, homeless and have nowhere to go. And yet the billboard is telling them that they have no hope of creating the American dream for themselves, just because they don't have a dog, a car, or that they aren't white. Thank you.